and then it should say you are live hi everybody hi hey, honey, it's honey, tuesday honey. night tuesday let's see it's june the 8th yeah. june the 8th. night and joe is locked in the house <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I say that? You're locked in the house? Locked in the house. Except for the mailbox. He had to go to the mailbox. Yeah. So, <laughs> there's Janet. Hi, Janet. Hi, Janet. <laughs> Hi, babe. I Hi. made it on, and I'm on time. Woohoo! Hey. <laughs> Woohoo! So, how's Janet? Hey. Hi, Candace. There's Candy. Uh, candy? Or Candace, yeah. I think oh, she, okay. I think her real name's Candace. Candy, Candy. That was one of my best friend's wife's name. Yeah. yeah. That was, uh, Who was your best friend? Uh, which one? That had a wife named Candace. <laughs> well, she was a nurse, remember? Um. Oh, he was your best friend, yeah. and his name was uh yeah, uh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> From from and they had the two boys. And, yeah, and one's a doctor and one's a. And they law, lawyer, wasn't it? Yeah, one's a lawyer. And, yeah, yeah, I know who it is. Yeah. Yeah. They were hot. They were Joe in the. Get the mail. <laughs> Joe, Joe get the mail. He did. He I did. did. Yeah, I wasn't very heavy, but I got it. Yep, I got a letter from Sherry Van, and I got a letter from Rebecca. Yeah. We got Happy Meal. <laughs> Roger was married to a candy. Roger. Yeah. That's it. It was Roger. Roger Gillum. He was a good boy. Yeah, he's good. He's one of the good guys. Good evening and hello, hey. beautiful crafters. Did hello, you all know hello. that you were beautiful crafters? Oh, yeah, hi Teresa. Even you, Clint. You're beautiful. Clint, we got we do uh while while we're waiting for everybody to come in, uh Clint needs Clint needs Clint and Aaron need some extra prayers uh oh, for okay. some health issues with friends and family. So so please uh send uh your well wishes to clint and our very own teresa is going to have her left hand operated on tomorrow Ooh, for teresa. trigger finger trigger finger and her thumb so she's going to go in as an outpatient so she'll be she'll be out of whack tomorrow oh. <laughs> she'll be laying around you'll be okay honey yeah, but we want it to work. We want it to be a great surgery, and we want it to c correct her issues. I got, I got a trigger thumb. Barbara up in in uh, Canada says it's beautiful and eighty five today. Well, the humi humi humidity is ninety, not fifty billion below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good yeah, deal. Yeah. Good deal, Barbara. Glad to see everybody here. Here, glad to see everybody. I yeah. thought that uh, I would go and do this first today for a change. Um, to for those early people who have to go to bed early, it might give them a chance to to win the little bag this week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing it on Tuesdays. I've been doing it. Hi, all Rebecca. Day. I just went outside and got something. Yep. Got I no. got I got another one. I got one from yep. Brittany, and I got one from um from Rebecca. Yeah, we're going to open these up. We can do that first. Let me just get yeah. this taken care of. Three, so, three uh, every Brittany's here. Brittany, I see that. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello. We hello. are here. We are here. I don't know why you say goodbye. I say hello. hello. Joe's going to sing. Uh, Y'all want me to sing? I'll sing to you. He's a good singer. Hello, hello. I think that's the Beatles, isn't it? Yep. I don't know why you say goodbye. <laughs> I say hello. It's going to make a happy oh, page. Oh. It's going to make a cute, happy hello. page. Mm -hmm. Happy meal page. A lot of colors. Beautiful colors on that. Yeah, I think it might yeah. be a napkin. Yeah, look at this. It looks, it looks like a napkin, yeah, and it's it's, nice. a, it's like it's got texture to it. It's like mm -hmm. it's embossed. Ooh. 
<laughs> I bet Janet knows all these Beatles you songs. Just come up with more ideas and more <laughs> than a smart boy could ever think about. Yep, we're smarter. We're smarter. We're yeah. creative. Yeah. You're creative. You can create. Uh, you would be a good. In, you would be a good inventor. I, 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 Still patent all the things I thought I, was I know. Doing. I wish I had patented years ago, and I'm and things are coming out now with what I thought of years ago. And I said, I do that. Yeah. There's just so many people in the world. You know, girls. Sometimes you just get a girl that knows everything. And I, you know, we were uh, just wa watching the trains on YouTube. Oh, well, and, we got a new channel this week. We're yeah, watching the train yards. The train yards. Very interesting to see them big old trains. But see, I knew a little bit more about the trains and the and the uh, the, the, the planes the, and the automobiles. Yeah, Let's <laughs> throw mother from the train. That was an old movie, comedy. So anyway, there's that. That's well, rough. This for you sometime. That's Laura. rough. So uh, what I'll do is. Um, uh, we're going to put this aside and open happy mail and then maybe uh, there'll be a few more people in the coming into the room i see sherry's not here yet but i can open up rebecca's mail because she's here and uh, maybe sherry will pop in before long Ooh. i tell you what one time Here's today a kitty cat. <laughs> Sneak peek. Right about 11 o'clock. There's more was, ATC uh, cards. Okay. Oh, these are the ACT cards that I get back from her trade. I sent her uh, CT car, uh, ACT cards for me t for her trade, and she sent me her cards for my trade. So that's what we did. We well, swapped. Wow. And you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Well, thank you, Rebecca. This one is says, oh. I'm silently correcting your grammar. <laughs> that's that's me. <laughs> and that's from this is from Renee Cole, Little Red Ragon. She participated in Rebecca's ATC swap. And that is me all uh, all across the board. This one is from Rebecca, and she's got this cute little stamp with, it's kind of like, I, I need to put this in my Chessie Cat on my Alice book because it's got, he's invisible. It's like he's invisible. And it says, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Isn't that pretty? Oh, swan. Yeah, yes. and it's, a, it's like. Glitter. 3D. It's, it's, yeah, it's glitter bomb. It, it's it, it's glitter bombed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just made it there. We say that all the time. Oh, so here is another. Uh, this is from Doodlebug Heather Thornton, kitty, kitty, kitty. and it's a it's a it's an ATC swap, and I love the kitty playing the oh, yes. piano. Very and her cute. card says, oh. "The Good Life." Isn't that pretty? Drop it down a little bit. Oh, Where yeah. That's yeah. nice. That is so pretty. That's that's, uh, <sighs> that's 50 and 60 style. Mm -hmm. It sure no, is. Really, that's even later than that. It might be earlier yeah, than I'm that. In, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm Brenda's here. Hi, Brenda. And I'm opening up some happy mail. And this yeah. one is... is Create with Becca, and it's a uh, it's a see through. You can see through it. It's got it's got um, vellum and some words on the vellum that say spring blossom, tulips, flowers, and and the the main thing says springtime, and it's got the cutest little duck. It's a Brad. It's a Brad. Wow, wow, I've seen wow. uh, some other Brads similar to that but not the not the duck and then she's got these little pretty vel velveteen ribbon oh. that is velveteen yeah. and then she's got these little flowers on it and she enabled me to buy those flowers and then she's got a little bead and a little piece of fabric right there isn't that cute 
like a little flower yes. in the pink rickrack. I love it. That is really springy. I wish I had one. Well, I'll, I'll share. Okay. I'll share. I'll share. So these will go into my ACT uh, book that I have. And I do still have it right here. And I do believe it's still got room for a few more ACTs. And uh, this was this was during my ACT swap, and I've added a few more to it from the others that I received. And I can I can almost um, double up on some of these pockets. They're nice, and these these flat ones I can double up with another flat one, and it'll still won't hurt will not hurt the uh, the book. So these will go in in here in in some of these bigger pockets like this one see these are already have two <laughs> we're doubling up we're doubling up this one up here with this one then i have room for this one how nice so in this one here can be doubled up i love it I love it. It's my ACT book. It's nice and fluffy, and it's got plenty of room. The spine was made big on purpose, and it was just perfectly planned. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So there's my ATCs. So if anybody wants me to uh, do a flip through these ATCs, all you have to do is ask me say you know just say hey can you do a flip through the, some of the atcs and let's see them you know again i have i have flipped through this and, and went through each card several times uh if you have missed it uh just let me know and we'll just take our time and go through them again since all of you girls that participated spent so much time on these cards you know the least i can do is give the time back by showing them off to everyone so uh i really appreciate I, the, the atc swap was so much fun so much fun love my little book that i made for it as well and thank you thank you thank you that was from our dear friend rebecca and this will go into my happy mail book i have a happy mail book that I'm putting um, envelopes in and and things that I've received from all of you girls and boys. Um, there's all kinds of fun things in, in here on these pages. And I did go over uh, some of the pages the other day and added a few more things to the book because uh, I was I had some things to put in them. So I'm getting a little bit bogged down here on my desk. Those are my seashells that Joe bought me. Oh yeah. Yep. I got. I've already used them. I've used them. Yeah, they come from uh, Gulf of Mexico. They sure did. They sure did. Let me see if I can't find a special spot for it here. Like right there. Where would say that black? No. Okay, okay. Here, Joe, you, you fiddle with this. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I just can't do it. It will fit there with this other, with okay. this in this spot. All okay. you got to do is stack these up properly. So, anyway, um, my Happy Mail book, I've put several, several. Um, things on every page from all of you girls that and guys that I've gotten happy mail from I've got tags and cute little things that you've all mailed me and uh, I just you know all of your personal letters are in here uh, and notes and things and uh, I've just really I love this little book and but this is my personal happy mail book now Rebecca did also send me four cards from her and I get to um, I'm going to give these away when I give my my bag away tonight um, the, I'll, I will draw four people from the group 
to randomly give these out to each of you, four of you, because um, the ATT swap that I had is over. Okay, so these are extras. And I received one of these uh, in my stash just now. So I don't need two of Rebecca's. So there's four here. There's four cards from Rebecca. And I will uh, give these out tonight to four of you all. And I think that would be a nice little treat. A nice little treat to do that. So, uh, and then I, uh, you know, that's just the only way I thought would be a good idea to pass them out. So, <laughs> yeah, Rebecca said she went a little crazy sending me ATCs. She was a little late, but she got it done, and that's all that matters. And I've got a perfect solution. So I think that's a great idea. And you might, you might, uh, you might receive. Uh, one back, Rebecca, from the girls that I send these to, because uh, you're you're probably in my uh, mailing list, and um, and you might receive four new friends out of this. Yes, you just might. Never know. And so anyway, this this is a happy mail, my personal happy mail book, and I've got cute cute things from all of you girls and boys in here. And I, I've been um, going through and adding more little things that I come across and uh, making the pages more a little fuller. And then as we get here to the back, I've, I've got some really cute tags in here. And here's here's Joe's seashells I put in here. I need to write that down. Joe's seashells. Seashells from Joe. I'll be like the roaring Joe Ocean. And I'll put the golf. I'll put the golf in there. So they wouldn't know they came from the golf side. So uh, those are really cute. And I tell you where those need to go. They need to go in my little shell tray in the living room. Okay. That's where they're going to go. That's where I'll I have a, a dish. Uh, by the door that's close to my front door and it's got seashells in it. So every time I come in from the beach and I've picked up a shell, I put it in that dish. And I also have uh, sea uh, side images, things, things that are sea related. I've got some pottery in there, like sand dollars and stuff like that, that and seahorses in that little tray too. And it's a blue, it's a blue glass dish and it's uh yeah, it's just got a lot of little stuff on there from the beach. So anyway, I've got, I, I, these were envelopes from two of you girls, two of you all that sent me some envelopes. And, um, and here's one from Rebecca. And I can even take, I could take her uh, washi tape off. And I'm just going, I'm just, wait, I'm just kind of goofing off for just a minute. We've got 18 in the room and uh, we might get a few more girls. So if we do, then I'll go ahead and uh, we'll give away our napkin bag. And I do have in my possession a new napkin that I got in some happy mail. So maybe you would like to have this. Uh, I, I said, I didn't put it away. Because there's, I think there's enough of this napkin here. There's two of them to do a bag. If you like this, if you like the, uh, they're kind of cherry blossoms. And I've got so much stuff in my uh, Japanese book, in my Asian book. That I really don't have room for this, but I thought this would make a beautiful zipper pouch. If uh, whoever wins wants this you have a choice of this or you can pick out from pick out what you want from my other stash so uh i thought that was a good idea it's pretty and we can still add some words to it if you'd like some words you know put on your or a quote or something so but that's this is optional you can choose your own or use this one and, uh, and I figured out there was a couple that weren't zipping properly. And um, 
they catch a little bit but once you once you open and close them several times it it works so this one uh this one does work it's just it catches every so often so it works really good for a while and then there's one time it catches so i think it's just uh, according to how you hold your mouth you know how that goes so anyway this little envelope here i was going to try to take some of the uh, washi tape and i can uh, add a little glue and these are like little bird cages and so i'm gonna put a little glue right there and uh, glue it down mm -hmm. to what i'm gonna do yeah a little bit of wax might help i do have some i do have some wax and uh but you you saw me fool, fiddle with it so i think it'll be okay i don't think there'll be a problem so i'm going to put this right there and then trim it off and save that for something else and i've got some more tape on my desk that i had and I'm going to recycle this one right here. A little bit of washi tape that I got twisted. There we go. There we go. So you can see how I'm fixing my page today adding to it and then there's another tape that has kitty cats on it and I think I should try to recycle that one too so how's everybody doing hi Kathy D who else come in uh, there's see. Patty's here hi Patty Patty hey. yep just let her rip, Patty. She likes to rip paper. That's cute. <laughs> we'll put this one down. <clears throat> so there's a way to recycle your uh, washi tape on envelopes. When instead of throwing the envelopes away, you can you can peel the washi tapes off and and if there there's paper on the back of it don't worry just put a little glue down just put a little glue down oh, don't worry be happy <laughs> oh. so hi Nettie Nettie's here hi Nettie how are you hi Tammy my mouth is dry. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Mine is too. I mm. just had a couple chocolate drops. Oh, you did? And where did you find that? Well, when you told me to go in there and put your shelves up, I couldn't find anything uh, until I found those chocolate drops. I see. Mm hmm. I see. So that's where they are. That's where I stopped looking. <clears throat> What's that? Is my phone? Um, you need to go uh, mute the TV. What is that? It's it's a bell. Oh, it's oh, it's, bell. it's the trains. <clears throat> We've been watching the trains today. So if you ever get tired of watching TV and channel surfing and commercial after commercial go to YouTube and search something uh, <clears throat> I like to watch how it's made and there are two different uh, different video or two different channels on how it's made and then there's another one how is it made or something it's just a little quick little twist on the title of it and then I like we like I like to watch recycling 
I've, I've watched how they recycle plastic and glass and and metal. And I like to watch uh, today we, were, we we did train yards and how they switch switch lanes and turn around and and uh, learning stuff like that. Uh, there is a website that you can travel on an Amtrak train and you can travel in the Swiss Alps or anywhere in the world. You just pick out which video you want to watch <laughs> and you could just get to see the the land and, and uh, the towns that it goes through. And I just like doing that kind of stuff. We like watching YouTube. Uh but you all might have some uh, interesting titles to search for as, as much as I do. What do you watch on YouTube when you watch? Besides the craft shows, of course. <clears throat> of course, the craft shows we watch. And, uh, of course, I like to watch the felting craft shows. Felt, anything on felting. And if I watch somebody and they're doing a new technique or something i might i might do a search on a new technique uh and there was something what else that i watch i, I watch all kinds of things we like to watch construction <laughs> and the the big machineries uh and how they how they work and how they they do big big roads and rocks and bridges and stuff so y'all saying hi oh <laughs> barbara likes judge joe judy in people's court mm -hmm. i i think i've i've watched her enough over the years that i've i've had enough of judge judy <laughs> she's um um She's a, she's a, 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 I don't know what, to, I don't know how to describe Judge Judy. <laughs> she's loud. <laughs> she's a little loud. Maybe that would be a good word to say. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I've got, I was looking for uh, Sherry Van. If she, Did Sherry come in yet? Calling Sherry Van. There's some more washi tape on this. When this this came from Janet Nash, and it's not going to all come off at once, but I can I can put it together like a puzzle. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Uh, let's see. Tonight, uh, we are going to do a little little bag here. There's 21 of you in here. So, I think that we can probably go ahead and do that next. And uh, what I'm going to have you do is, uh, if you can, uh, stop chatting for just a moment if you can hold your chat uh conversations and everybody put in a number between one and 100 we our numbers all the numbers will be together without a lot of words in between so if we can do that for for now everybody put a number in <laughs> and Brittany put in 88 she has to type it that way it has to be done 8-8 because um, 88 won't come up on on the on the chat. There's a glitch. For some reason, there is a glitch with that little number. So uh, we'll go ahead and get our bag going, our little uh, zipper pouch. It's kind of, it's cute <laughs> when we put a napkin on it. And then whoever gets it, and uh, and you have to be present to win. You need to be here because I need to know what you want me to put on it. <laughs> so you need to be here so that I can 
find out what you like. So there, I fixed that that tape there. That's airmail tape. That is cute. And there's one more piece of tape on here that I'm going to try to get. And my monitors, they will help with doubles so that we won't have any doubles. And I will get the number generator out on my phone and pick an, a random number. And then before we before we say uh, before we uh, after we do the bag, we'll do the bag first. We'll do the bag first. Then I'm going to do uh, Rebecca's ACT cards. So I will pick four more numbers after that and four of you will win an ATC card from our dear uh, Rebecca. And she is Create with Becca. She streams Monday through Friday, girls, in the mornings about 10 or 11 o'clock. And she streams for two or three hours and she does a lot of the stuff that I do. She likes to play the games. She likes the glue books. And she uh, likes to show you all of her stuff. <laughs> Angie. Okay. Okay. Angie says if she wins, she wants it to be the next person under me in, in the chat room. Okay, Angie. We can, we can do that for you. Thank you, Angie. So, uh, Yes, Kathy said she watched Becca a little bit today. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I slept through today. I slept through her. I slept, I slept through uh, uh, today's Tuesday. I slept through, uh, uh, I was trying to think what I did yesterday on Monday. Uh, I was with family. I was with my family. So... <laughs> Oh, Angie is still sick. So we're going to send some healing prayers to Angie for feeling so sick. And I think, uh, is it sinuses? Are you still having trouble with your sinuses, Angie? Hi, Mina. Mina, put a, uh, put a number in between 1 and 100. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Teresa. I asked her a question. So sorry, Angie. I'll, I'll get to you after after the after we do the names, we get sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> okay. So, uh, Mina put a picture in. The doctor called you. Oh, oh. Okay, Angie. Anyway, I'll, I'll talk to you in a minute, Angie. Um, uh, Christy put a number in between one and 100. Hi, Mel Joy. Put a number in between 1 and 100. And I will not be able to get random.org with this device. <laughs> this is my scales. Oh, goodness, Beth. <laughs> I was getting ready to, to look for random org on my scale. <laughs> Have you ever done anything like that? Have you ever done anything silly? I have. I do all the time. <laughs> <laughs> random number generator woohoo and I'm going to put from 1 to 100 right there and I'm going to pick a new number <laughs> who us no not us Teresa <laughs> I know better Barbara pick a number I'm coming in late no you're not you're right on time you're not missing it, Barbara. <laughs> and <clears throat> I do ask if you've already won, won a pouch that you, uh, if you've already won a pouch <clears throat> and you would like to uh, ask me to draw another number, uh, I will I will substitute the pouch with an ATC card if you'd like, um, just to let you know that. Um, It'd be nice if, if, if you want a pouch that somebody else that didn't have a pouch get one. Uh, they're not expensive. They're only 62 and a half cents. 
Mm -hmm. That's how much I paid for it. 62 and a half cents. So it's just a fun little uh, inexpensive, cheap pouch that we'll, we're going to decorate it with a napkin and it's going to look cute in your art room. So uh, it's just a little something. But I do I do want to give out four extra numbers for these um, <clears throat> ACT cards from our dear, dear friend, Rebecca. So has everybody got their numbers in? I think it's slowed down. There's Becky. Hi, Becky. It's for the big, the zipper pouch. Mm -hmm. And you, you get to tell me uh, what kind of napkin you want me to put on it. I've got, I've got a napkin journal over here. I'll get out in just a minute with the extra napkins. Okay. It says I'm showing. I'm showing. This is the zipper pouch we're going to cover. And then we're going to also cover. Uh, we're going to draw four more numbers after that for these uh, ACT cards. Okay. So, um, all right. I'm going to just type stop to make it official. And we we were going to go right here. I'm going to I'm going to generate a new number here. The for the pouch, it is number 23. 23 for the pouch. Okay. Okay. 23 for the pouch. The zipper pouch. So whoever got the closest without going over to 23. Becca got it. Becca had 18. Barbara at 18. Barbara is closer. Okay. Becca had 13. Barbara at 18. It's Barbara. I think it's going to be. Is that is that our chicken pot pie, Barbara? <gasps> Barbara Chicken. I'm going to say Barbara Chicken. And I want you to know that, Barbara, since I have met you, I have been making chicken and dumplings every month. <laughs> I have, and I do believe I've got Barbara's address. Just check you here. Yes, I do. Barbara. <laughs> now, Barbara, you get to pick a, a napkin for me to glue on your um your thing here in just a minute. And while we're while we got our numbers up. Now I'm going to draw for these ACT cards. Okay, Angie. Oh, wow. I absolutely i am so excited. Okay. Okay. So, Barbara, hang on. I'm going to go ahead and pick four more numbers for these ATC cards. And the next, the next one for an ATC is going to be 49. 49. They're cute, Nina, aren't they? They turn out real cute. Okay. 20 or 49. 49. Who's the closest to 49 for an ATC card? And they're going to be random. They're all real cute. This one's a see-through. And this one is, it's got some Tim Holtz uh, people on, little people. And they all have the cat on the back. And then this one's got some love, musical love. And this one's got a really cute little girl on it. She's so cute. She's giving you a wink. She's a winking at you. Tammy gets it. Tammy, okay. Tammy Wolf, okay. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. The next number is going to be, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Good, good. I've got three more, and it's 44. Who's the closest to 44? And if we need to go back past Tammy, <laughs> we can go around it. 44. Forty-four. We used to have this commercial back up home, and it was the commercial. Uh, Kathy D. Is it our Kathy D? Um, and and the, on the commercial it was four forty-four Fourth Avenue. <laughs> I just had to throw that out. I'm just feeling silly. <laughs> Kathy D. Okay. Okay. So there's two. Okay. And uh, I need I need two more. The next one is going to be 85. 85. So isn't this fun? Everybody's going to get a little bit of Happy Mail today. Everybody loves Happy Mail. <laughs> Yay! Forty or eighty-five, eighty-five. I feel like an auctioneer, although I can't roll my numbers as fast as the as the cashier. Eighty, eighty, eighty-five. We're coming up to eighty-five. We need another eighty-five. Come on, who's closest to eighty-five? <laughs> It is Barbara. This is just little, uh, little, little scatters of love. Rebecca got to sixty nine. Now, Rebecca, I cannot mail you your own ACT card, but I can, re I can mail you some regular happy mail, and that means we get to draw again, or go, or go next to it. Mina, was it Mina? Mina. Oh, you said Mina, not me. Sorry. <laughs> Mina gets a card. Okay. Mina gets a card. And for the last one, the last one is 33. 33. And they're going to be one of those cards will go in your envelopes. Uh, they'll, they're mixed up. They'll be all mixed up. Okay, the last one is 33. <laughs> yes, Tammy, you won one of Rebecca's ACT cards. You're going to get one of these beautiful ACC cards, okay? You're a winner of some AC of a of an, an ACT. Teresa had thirty three. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so that takes care of uh, the ACTs and the pouch. Now, Barbara, Barbara, honey, you get to pick whatever you want. Whatever kind of envelopes you would like to have on here uh, I'll sort of do a little flip through here of some of my napkins I do have more if you if you need to, to uh, go through something else uh, I can get my uh, my other napkins down now Barbara don't be chicken don't you be chicken Barbara you you go ahead and pick something out that you like <laughs> roses are pretty and what did I do with my napkin box? I got another napkin box. <clears throat> <coughs> and uh, I've got, actually, I have more than one napkin box. I do. This, this is in my, in my stash. I've got this. We can we can do a, we can do uh, we can do patriotic maybe I might have find to be able to find a flag 
I've got sunflowers. I've got bacon. You need any bacon? I've got kitty cat. I've got pink flamingos. <clears throat> they says uh, birds of a feather sip together. I've got some, uh, I got one grape. I got these. I got some of these. And I got some of these. These are pretty. You're not over the hill yet, are you, Barbara? <laughs> I could also do something in black and white. Black and if people, you know, some people like the black and white combo. And this, this one's pretty. Um, these kind of go together. There's a bunny. Oh, isn't he cute? I'd have to mix this napkin with some of this. Or this he's cute I've got uh, I could do shades of blue uh, I can do shades of flowers there's a little bit of a sea theme here's a sea theme these kind of look good together sip sit back and relax with the some ocean turtles and and uh, friends <laughs> um so pretty much whatever you whatever you fancy best honestly <laughs> let me go back Honestly, I would be so appreciative for anything you select on my behalf. Thank you. Well, okay. I can. I can do that. I don't think you're over the hill yet. I've got bunnies. That's a good match right there. I've got black and white. I love... This is probably my favorite. This would probably be my favorite. Because I like blue. And I can I can uh, I can do both sides with this one. And I would I would uh, put this on one side and this one on the other side. <laughs> Christy had a birthday. Happy birthday, Christy! I'm not only over the hill, Beth. I am over the mountain. <laughs> What's it taught? Well, you say I'm, um, uh, when you're happy, uh, isn't that, isn't that what you say when you're, when you're happy? I'm just over the hill, over the hap, over the mountain happy. I can't remember. <laughs> so, Barbara, is this your style? If this is not your style, you know, I can do I can do kitty cats. This is a cute little kitty cat uh, nap uh, napkin. It's more of a tissue than a napkin, but it would work. It works. I can add add this with. Uh, I just want to make it that you. I want something that you're going to like. Because I can add the kittens too, if you like that. Uh, if you like this flower better, I just want to make it. I just want. I just. Uh, that's why I give you a choice, so that um, you would be uh, happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm willing to please. I want you to be pleased. Jinx, Ruth. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. Is Ruth here? Hi, Ruth. Hi, honey. Over the moon. Okay. There you go. It's over the moon. But uh, I have a variety. You know, I have... This is a pretty a flamingo. You know, the coral is pretty and the blue... If uh, 
if you want me to pick, I'm going to pick this one. And uh, this this kind of goes with it. Maybe I can add a little bit of this on the edges. That would be nice to add this in with that because I, I'm going to I'm missing a, a, about an inch on the sides. So that'll work. Okay. I just don't know what your style is. It might be French fries. <laughs> And hot dogs. <laughs> okay. So, um, I haven't made one like this one, so this will be fine. I love the botanical and the combo you selected. Okay. Okay. All right. That's the, the fun part. Um, is getting to pick something out that you like and that uh, suits your fancy. So let me, uh, I was playing around with these envelopes, so I'm done with that. Now, I did have one more Happy Mail to open from um, Sherry Van. She never did come in. So I'm going to go ahead and open Sherry's. And she can watch the rerun if uh, she comes in so we can get our happy mail out of the way. Oh, looky. She sent me a napkin. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Ooh. I can. I might be able to use that in my happy mail book. She sent me a tag. Ooh. I can put that on my happy mail. On my tag. Ooh. That would be pretty. She sent me some goodies. I don't know why. She sent me another napkin, and oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, that is very pretty, very delicately. I'm looking for a, a note. Oh, she sent me an ATC card. Simply B. Oh, thank you, Sherry. It's an artist trading card titled Peace. It's very peaceful. By Sherry Van. June 21. Well, thank you, Sherry. Thank you, honey. And you know what? What did I... I'll have to send her one back. I don't know... Uh, I don't know what... Oh, I did. Here. I did these yesterday. And I started making ACT cards. So I can... We, maybe we can finish her a, an ACT card. It's on the back of a card. And, and this is Happy Mail envelope. And this was part of an envelope, too. And now I have to just put a few more embellishments on top. And I can send her back a card. Wouldn't that be nice? Good. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm going to put these in here. I have to finish them. Uh, so that's nice. And these will go in my napkin collection. And then is a tag. Mm. We're just going to have to think about that too. How we can decorate it. So that was from Sherry Van. Thank you. And this is so cute. This is so cute. So um, I'm going to put this in here. To be used in here. And put this away for now. And put that away for now. And see, this is my agenda for today. We're, we're doing Happy Mail. And and we, we've done the zipper bag. And we're doing it now. Uh, we we uh, will be going over... Uh, some of our books that we've been making in the past couple of weeks. We've made several, several kinds of books. And I'm going to go over that after we do the bag. And uh, while we are doing the bag, I think it would be a good time uh, to talk about what's going on Friday. And um, on Friday this week, Mary is having a Friday night hop. 
and the Friday night hop is going to be different than the other hops. These are going to be live hops, <clears throat> and there will be a morning session and then an evening session, and they all start at like 5.30 in the morning and then, you know, uh, 6 30 in the evening i think it's about the times and there will be some uh, notifications going around probably thursday to uh to show you the lineup of who's 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 on at what time i will be on in the evening time and i usually come on around 7 15 in the evening uh i'm number one in the evening and Janet, I mean, uh, uh, Mary Altier will introduce me uh, and talk about the hop a little bit and and get it started for the evening. And um, and then after I come on, I, it'll only be for about a half hour, 45 minutes at the most. But it's just I'm just on for a half hour. So whatever I do, I have to do it kind of fast and um uh and the theme for friday's hop is travel anything to do with travel and uh i guess since you guys are in my group i could give you a little hint of what we're going to do and you know how uh how i like to get travel magazines so that's what I'm going to, that's all, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. You know how I like to get free travel magazines. So I will be talking about that. I will be talking about the free, the cat, the free uh, travel magazines and how we get, can order them for free and then how we can possibly use them in our art. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. So with that, being said be sure and remember the, the hop on friday but there will be about five girls in the morning too and i do believe that janet nash will be number one in the mornings unless she's traded another time slot uh, she usually does in the morning janet do you is your time slot still the same and in the morning and can you tell us what time it usually starts you're going to post the schedule in my group when you get them. Yes, thank you. That would be great. But she usually comes on in the mornings. I think what I'm going to do is make a beautiful little collage with these napkins. It's going to be like a puzzle. Sherry! <laughs> Hi, Sherry. <laughs> I just opened your happy mail. <laughs> it's everywhere in the room. I scattered it. <laughs> Thank you for your ACT card. And I was going to make you another one and, and send it back to you. This is the base. <laughs> Thank you for your, my tag and the napkins. Thank you, Sherry. That was so sweet. Yeah. Melanie Meljoy is going to go to go to bed. It's 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 after midnight in England. So yes. Good night, Meljoy. Love you, honey. Let's see. Rebecca said her phone alerted me that I only have five percent battery. <laughs> I've had my phone plugged in for an hour. The power tip that the cord is plugged into was turned off. Oh, dear. I hate that when that happens. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Cheryl's done with eating. Oh, heavens. She, she's heading for the green chair. <laughs> uh, everybody likes uh, Sherry's happy mail that she sent me. Janet says she starts 6 a.m. Central. And she's going to be using something vintage. Okay. Barbara's back. Okay, welcome back. So I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm decorating a bag. 
and I'm I'm going to incorporate um, this little napkin with with this little napkin, <laughs> this big napkin. So I'm going to use two of these for each side. So I'll put those over there, and then I'll use uh, probably three or four of these, depending on. Um, how well I decoupage. So I'm going to start off with four, but I do have an extra one if I need need to use it. So we'll start with four. And I think I can do it. I think I can. So I'm going to put these down first. And then this one that one could wrap around to the other side and it would be on both sides. That would be nice. I'll have to talk myself through this and I'm going to put this one down here. And so I want to put, I can do them this way. Do I want to do that? I'm going to put that on top because I like that little postcard. I could put that on top. That's pretty. And then over here, I can put half of it up here. And then the other half right here. And I will cut that off. That's cute. That's cute. So this will be trimmed from there to there <clears throat> it's very pretty Beth thank you okay it looks nice I don't think that looks bad sideways I can turn it Maybe an angle. I can do an angle. If I do it from there to there. And trim. I've got enough of the napkin to do it at an angle. I can do that. And I could cover that corner. That'll be all right. And then I can. I've, I've got one more of the napkins over here. Because I could do uh, more of the flower. I like it a little bit of variety. Brittany got some mail from Sherry today. Yes, Teresa, thank you, Cheryl. Teresa's going to have surgery in the morning. And uh, we want to keep her in our prayers for sure. For sure. I want this one on top. And I'm going to trim that. Give it a haircut. And then this this one and this one will fulfill this little spot. Okay, there we go. Now, put the extras out of the way. Maybe this one is better. Feel it. This one will feel it. Okay, put that out of the way. That out of the way. I'm going to put these are extras so they'll go underneath. And uh, I'm going to start gluing. And I'm going to glue these guys down last. So I'm going to glue, put that one there and that one there. And I'm going to glue these on last after that. And these two first. So here we go. And I've got a new, a new glue concoction, just to let you know. Um, <clears throat> this is decoupage glue that I got from uh michaels and it does very very well 
with papers and napkins and things. Uh, but I also added in some gloss varnish, Liquitex gloss varnish. And uh, it gives it a little extra power. Uh, I'm going to put that in there. Uh, it gives it a little extra power. Um, and strength. The, the gloss varnish does. And uh, so far, I have used it several times just in a week. And I like it. I like the combination. Uh, Tammy got some ACTs today. Good. Freddie. Cheryl's patting Freddie. <laughs> pat, pat, pat. We love our little Freddie. Everybody saying hello to everybody. Suzanne's here. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, honey. I'm, I'm in the middle of gluing a uh, little zipper pouch. And this is going to be for our very own Barbara Ann from Canada. Our chicken pot pie lady. And, uh, Whom we love. We love so much. We love her. We love everybody. So I went ahead and took the backs off of these napkins. And I'm patting them down on the, uh, the little plastic pouch. And I did sand the pouch with the sandpaper first. And... Uh, it gives it a little bit of of uh, scratchiness for the the uh, napkins to stick stick to the plastic because the plastic was like clear plastic, and uh, so that's fine. I like that. And then this one goes down here, and I want to go ahead and put this one on. This one's going to go on top right there. I'm talking to myself. But I'm working it out. You know, I'm just working it out. Working it good. I'm going to fold that up because I want that to go on top. And then I've got another one that goes right here and here. That I think I can put this one down right there. That'll be good. That'll be good. And this one down here. And I'm going to add, go over the edge just a smidgen. And then I've got these two that will go here. And I want this one on top. And this one right here. And this one on top. Very nice. And then I got two little spots right here and here. And I've got extra napkins for that. And two. Once I find them. Once I find them. This, these. This one. So I'll just put a little something there. A little more glue. And all of this glue will be uh, top coated. I will top coat all of it when I get done here. And in order for the napkin to glue onto another napkin, it has to have glue in between or it won't stick. It's, it's sometimes the napkins seem to have a 
thickness and maybe it, it might be the ink or something where the the glue doesn't go through the the paper so that looks good that looks good i'll talk to you in a minute <laughs> talk among yourselves good 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 uh this goes to the other side. Okay. And what did I do? Here it is. A little piece there. Looks good. And you have to be careful because the napkin will tear. It's very vulnerable to tear at this stage. So I'm just real easily. And I'm going to let this side dry a little bit. And I'm going to put it over here to the side so that it can dry. And then I will bring it back over to do the other side. That little cover up right there. So it's completely covered. So uh, I like it. I like it. It looks really nice. And I do have word a room for word. If you want a word, uh, we can put a word on your uh, pouch. And I do have some words over here in my possession. I've got, I got words like this and I can print it out. I can print it out right real quick, right here. Life is beautiful. You belong here. Those are kind of cute. Um, we rise by lifting others. Barbara, pay attention. <laughs> pay attention now. Hey, Barbara, pay attention. <laughs> They're like, it's a crochet little worm, curly worms, as you hang them out for your kindness for somebody to find them. I'm not sure. Oh, that's Barbara. I don't know what she's talking about. Barbara. Hmm. Uh, Barbara Batzer's talking. Okay. I'm talking to uh, Chicken Pot Pie right now. I've been crocheted and a little left call him kindness worms okay but anyway I've got some uh, quotes here if you'd like a little word on your napkin pouch uh, Barbara chicken pot pie Yes, Barbara can send me a picture and I can show it to you. Barbara does not do uh, Facebook, but she messages me. And if she messages me a picture right now, I can show it to all of you if you would like. There's Donna. Hi, Donna. Okay, so... Uh, I'm waiting for uh, Barbara to come back. She must have stepped away for a minute. So I do have some words that she can choose from when she comes back. Okay. So, um, I'm going to let this over to dry. It's easier if I do. And, um, 
and then these ends will wrap around to the other side. So I'm gonna let this over there to dry while we do while we play with our next project. Okay, now let's see. This is gonna be for the other side. I'm just gonna put them together so I don't lose them. I think that'll be fine. Okay. Teresa says, Rebecca, I'm going to try your tip <laughs> on using the dryer sheets uh, when she does her, uh, her die cut machine. And I'll let you know how it comes out on my machine. Oh, thank you for the tip. Yay. And um, doesn't uh, like a little a, a paintbrush? Uh, I'm thinking of a stubby, a bigger paintbrush. Doesn't it help with the uh, the die cuts on the little parts too? Having a little brush, like even a toothbrush or a dry a dry brush. You know, something to stipple the pieces out. So, Beth, I'm very happy. I just, as its words are not necessary. Okay. That's all I needed to hear. Thank you. So, anyway, some of the books that we've been working on over the past couple of weeks is, one of them is our ABC book. And this is, uh, I did this for Clint and Melissa and uh, Aaron, uh, Clint's sister. And um, I don't know if there was, I think there was a couple other people playing along too, or they were going to play along. But an ABC book is just a, a, a plain notebook. And then you write ABC all the way, one on each page. And then you glue things in your book. And um, it's supposed to be a casual glue book. It's supposed to be for fun. And it's like a little hobby. And you go through your magazines and you, especially your old ones, and you look for little pictures to go on your page. Um, this is K and L. Uh, I don't know why these were here. Lighthouse. So that's that could go here. The lighthouse. And I suppose this can go for little girl, a little girl. Yeah, it could be a little girl. She's walking in the rain and playing with her dog. <laughs> and then over here on this page, I've got lots of peas. I've got a peacock. We can put that in. Like that. And uh, there's a puppy. A puppy. So this is the example of um, a glue book. And uh, I think these might have fell out. I don't know. There's another peacock. But anyway, I'll, I'm going to put pansies. Pink, pink flamingos. That ought to go on the pink page. I've got a pink page over here. I don't have anything on the pink page yet. So after I did the ABCs, I did 1 through 10 on the numbers, and then I did the uh, colors of the rainbow. So there's pink. That's good. And here's a piece of purple. <laughs> it's a purple napkin. And I'm going, I don't have anything on purple yet. So I'm going to put purple right here. We need some purple on our page. So that's fun. That'll be fun. Uh, 
give it a little trim. So anyway, that's our ABC book. I just wanted to, to share and show you how I made it and how it's coming along. And, uh, and if you can't find uh, a picture for your letter, draw it on. You know, you can draw a watch. You know, you could draw a musical instrument or X-Men. <laughs> you might, you know, even just write the word in your book so it doesn't have to be um you know it's 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 easy to to uh substitute other ideas and uh nothing is wrong in your art you you uh you just work at it you can you can be creative in your mind and 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 do it see i wrote victory down here's a here's a picture a famous picture of Van Gogh. That's very famous. So I thought that would be great for V, you know, in a vase, you know. So you, you is very hard, but you, you can find anything USA. You can do doubles, and you could, you can even write or draw, draw a picture of a ukulele, you know. So and you could also look in the dictionary to help you with your words. Um, there's this one here i drew four guys singing and it's a quartet so barbara sent me a picture of the things that you were talking about okay barbara oh how cute okay here's what she was talking about little worms <laughs> that would be a cute tail if you had needed a tail on a cat or a dog that would be a cute tail a tiger tail tiger had a curly tail and he he hopped and hopped and hopped and hopped <laughs> oh janice glein said uh, that melissa was asking about paper dolls okay We've done paper dolls in here before. We can do paper dolls. So anyway, thank you, Barbara. And she's got little eyes on them. They're cute. And use a little darker thread for the nose. This one's got eyes, too, up there, and a longer tail, a dangly tail. <laughs> this one's got a little curl on the end. Cute. Thank you, Barbara. She crocheted them. Those are cute. Okay. Candy sent me something about Alice in Wonderland, and I can't really open it right this minute, so I'll have to look at it later, Candy, but it's something about journaling Alice in Wonderland. And it wants me to sign up. It won't let me pass that. Here it goes. Now it will. And these are little Alice in Wonderland cards and things that you can print out or buy from uh, E Scrapbooks. Alice in Wonderland paper. Those are cute candy. Thank you. Uh, these are like little cards right here. Uh, my To make little ACC cards or something. So thank you. And I did get um, some Alice in Wonderland um, scrapbooking paper and my Alice book from Nettie, uh, Nettie Manson. So that's all I'm going to show you on my um, 
ABC book right now. I just wanted to show it to you, let you know that we were we did make it. And I and if I do a little bit, you know, look up a few things each time, then um, you know it'll get done, it'll get finished, and it's it's a casual thing. So I'm gonna put a few of these pictures um, back up in. Uh, I've got a little folder here. And uh, so I'll show that again a little bit on Thursday. That was one of the books. The, another book that I made uh, a week ago Saturday, I made a totally junk, junk, junk bur uh, journal. And uh, it's a, a cardboard box, a cracker box that I cut the top and the sides off and the bottom. And this was my spine. You know, this is the book. And then I added some signatures inside the book of random paper in my room. It's all kinds of paper. There's matte paper. There's braille paper. I used envelopes. Envelopes are cute to put in your journal books for tuck hole, tuck spots and, and belly bands and things. Um Here's a belly band here and a card. And and so when you do a junk journal, you use junk mail. You can make a new pocket tuck pocket by just folding a corner up. And it makes a little tuck spot. And um, there's a junk mail. There's a, this is a, a map, a tourist map, vacation map. Uh, stationary there's the other part of the envelope so anyway this is a junk junk journal so what you do with a junk journal uh you can journal in your in your books but i like to glue use them for glue books so i've glued and i've even stamped a few things in my in my book and so you can casually do anything you want in your junk journals so Tonight, I'll just, I'm going to take a B, a B stamp, and I'm going to go through and maybe stamp a few Bs flying around in my book, <laughs> just for fun, just for fun, and um, so there's some Bs going around, and you can also glue things down in your book, uh, periodically glue things down anywhere you want in your book and and that's that's what it is that's what it is it's it's my junk book i can glue down anything i want i can put junk mail in it i can uh, add more paper uh, put in tags you can do anything you want in your junk journal and I'm just randomly putting some bees in tonight. And uh, you might even have some uh, recyclable paper uh, with nothing on it, with, with some things that's been cut off, you know. So, you know, you just keep adding to your, your journal. And here's, a, here's a, uh, some painty papers. And it's already got some uh, beehives on here for honey. So I might as well put some bees maybe they're making some honey for us huh and i never see bees doing the same direction they're always turning around and and moving they're never going the same direction <laughs> so there's that this is a dragonfly maybe there's a bee over here <laughs> So there's a, there's just some example of me working in my junk journal, and this is something that you do casually, and it's never ending, it's ongoing, and so I'm going to put this away for today, and I'll bring it back out Thursday, and we'll glue in it some more. And then the next book I have is the Alice in Wonderland book. Of course, it's on the bottom. <coughs> <clears throat> so that'll work i can get it so uh we've been working in the alice in wonderland book past week or two 
and and it's also a glue book and i'm just casually gluing alice in wonderland themes things and themed items this get, was given to me by janet and i think it would make a cute tag so i'm going to get my tag maker or my my brad uh eyelet maker and i just happen to have some uh, eyelets that match my paper isn't that cute there's a darker blue let's try the darker one you can see the darker one so i'm going to put a, uh, an eyelet on my book marker and uh and as you can see it says read me and you see when alice was in the um the little the room with the little door she had some um a potion and it said drink me and then when she drank it she got so small and then she had found a cookie and she's and it says eat me and she ate the cookie to make herself big again <laughs> and so this is a bookshop and it says read me and it's it's a play of words i thought it was cute so anyway i'm going to go over here and i'm going to punch a hole in my bookmark and then i insert this little eyelet thing like that and then it goes <clears throat> into my my biter thing and then i press and squeeze and it flattened out on the back and it made an eyelet on the bookmark so that's all i need to do with that <clears throat> And uh, get this in here. Put this away. <clears throat> and I have some <clears throat> threads over here that would look cute. And let's which ones we want to pick out. Blue. There's, there's some of this. This is cute. Let's use some of that. Okay. So I'm just going to take the end and push it through the hole with a pencil. <laughs> I've got a pencil. And I'll push some of the ribbon through to the other side and pull it through. And there I got it. So there's my, there's that. So I just need to trim, trim this off. And I'm going to trim it off right here. And this, every bit of this stuff is, um, a lot of this stuff is things that you all have sent me. And I, I'll leave it here on my desk so I can get to it. So I can get to it and use it. So, yeah. So this, if this is my tag, I guess I could tie a knot. Tie a knot. And then I guess I could, um, put it in my book somehow. Let's see how we're going to put it in the book now. Tied it in a knot. And I can put it in the hang it or I can put it in here as a 
a decoration like a bookmark. So and I still have this these things to use. This this is the something I printed out and they're blurry. They're kind of blurry. And I haven't cut them out because they're blurry. They look better on screen than they do with my eyes. So I'm just sort of hanging on to them. Maybe I'll just stick them in this pocket and not worry about these right away. That's what I'll do. I'll just hang on to them and stick them in the pocket for maybe a last resort because they're there with the book. That would work. Let's just try that. All right. And then the book, the bookmark. So this is the first page and it's uh, Alice in the tree uh, with the tree talking to the Chester cat. And it worked out really cute. <laughs> and I've done a few pages in this over the weekend. <clears throat> Candy sent me another picture <laughs> of some more Alice in Wonderland things. How cute. Did she, what'd she say? It's a diary journal. And it, it's things for sale. It's an Alice journal scrapbook layout page set. set. So you, I guess you get all these little goodies in your for your journal. Thank you, Candy. That is really, really cute. And I've got a lot of these pictures already. Um, this is the page where she drinks and she she she, she uh, shrinks and then she finds the key and she left the key on the table. So she had to eat the cookie to make herself big and she goes up and down, up and down. And this is out. This is page 10 out of a book, um, one of the original reading books from the library i pay i was able to print out one of the pages and this was page 10 and i left it in here so that you could read it <laughs> and it says no i'll look first she, she said and and whether it's marked poison or not for she had read several nice little stories how children who had got burnt and eaten up by wild beasts and other unpleasant things, all because they would not remember the simple rules their friends had taught them, such as that the red hot poker will burn you if you hold it too long, and that if you cut your finger very deeply it, with a knife, it usually bleeds. And she never forgotten that if you drink much from a bottle marked poison, it is most almost certain to disagree with you sooner or later. <laughs> and I got the biggest kick out of that. So anyway, this was this was the the drink me page. And then here is uh, where she goes through the door and she's in the forest. And here's another page thirty eight. Or 33 and another page of another book it was it was different this one's printed and then this one's kind of handwritten and it's got older older characters uh, sketches in it so I, I just I just I left it here I'm not going to read it but beginning at the begin begin at the beginning and go until you come to the end then stop <laughs> Those were kind of the, the answers that the rabbit gave <laughs> whenever you uh, ask the rabbit questions. <laughs> and all of the pages have these little tabs on them, which is cute. And this is the tea party in the forest. This is, um, I got three tea party pages. 
And I had these cute printouts from the scrapbooking paper that uh, Nettie gave me. And I cut out all the cards. I made some clusters. There's the Mad Hatter. And I've got cards. Oh, cute. I've got some, this is a napkin right here, part of a napkin. And it says, we're all mad here. We're just mad. And they use the word mad as a crazy word, I think. <laughs> And it says, you are entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. <laughs> oh. So cute, cute little quotes in here from the tea party. And then this is, an, this is going to be another tea party page. And this has the napkin, uh, the apron in it. And this apron was given to me by um, Janet Nash. And it's got uh, the Mad Hatter Tea Party on it, on it. So I saved it for just the, the tea party. I thought it would be cute. And here's a page, another page in the forest where she meets up with the caterpillar. And this turned out really cute. I had this really um, whimsical napkin that just kind of went with the, the whole Alice theme. I don't know if it was an Alice in Wonderland napkin or not, but it had mushrooms on it. And it had these roses with the faces in the middle. And it was cute and whimsical. So that's why it went. So this turned out to be like a really cute page as well. And I haven't finished this one yet. And this is this is uh, one of the same pictures uh, with her holding the pink. It's a, it's a I think it's a pink flamingo, and and she they use them for croquet sticks <laughs> in the movie. And here's another one where the gardeners, uh, the gardeners were the spades of card in the cards. So uh, the spades. Uh, planted all these rose bushes and wrote little rose trees and they planted some white ones by mistake so they were afraid of getting caught and getting in trouble because the queen was very good at, at saying off with your head you know so they were painting the roses red with red paint and I have to color this in and and trying to, to cover up the right white rose mistake and I don't think they got caught yet uh, in the in the story. And here's another page that I was going to glue down some extra extra cards and stamps and uh, some a few notions that I that I come up with that are extra. And I thought I would just make another page and and uh, do something over here with this. And it's almost ready. Well, it's ready to be glued down. I just have to organize it. This is a a queen page and some of these came from some of the old fashioned books that were online that I printed was able to print out this was page 88 and uh, I tore it up and made it made a collage out of it and then I put random pictures in and who in the world am I that's that's the great puzzle <laughs> and she puts on her crown puts on the crown off with her head, says the queen. <laughs> so that little whimsical page, cute. Here's another page, and this has to do with the queen and the um, the guy coming in, the servant coming in, and he has a, a crown on the pillow, and I had a crown on a napkin. <laughs> so I put it on his in his hands. So he's carrying the crown. And uh, just a few card uh, napkins, unusual napkins that I had that were uh, having that were card related. <laughs> so that was cute. And then I think the rest of the book is still working on. So uh, I've still got things to do on the ladder pages. So I've been working with this online because I've had so much stuff that I, I didn't know it takes me a, a while to figure out what I want to put on each page and uh, so I haven't uh, I've been kind of working on with it on offline just for uh, to make it easy so uh, I'm not going to work on this tonight but um, but I will uh, I appreciate everybody that has sent me a lot of stuff um, Judy sent me 
uh, some coloring pages. Christina Shack sent me some pages. Um, and everybody's been so kind of, of, of sending me stuff. Um, uh, and I've printed out a bunch of stuff as well. And I think there's a bunch of stuff left over in here that I get to use. These are little bits and bobs. And uh, I've been using them uh, to decorate the pages with. So uh, I still have all of those left. So there's there's the progress of of the Alice book and it's coming along very nicely. I'm very happy with it. And this is going to be the cover of it. And I think I'm going to be putting buttons on the front of this. Uh, I think I think that would be cute. And uh, I haven't uh, I haven't done that, but we did make this tag finish this tag tonight. And um, and we just have to decide where we want to put it. And I can either tie it in or I can let it hang. Uh, I could tape this down or put another eyelet in for it. And if you all think of a page that it would look good on, uh, definitely we'll put it on that page. And if we don't put it on one of these pages, it might be for... Uh, the the back of the book pages so uh we might have to stick it in later the the page that pops out to me so far is i think it's going to be this one it, it matches the colors better or we could just stick it in the um uh, pocket in the front and i've got a pocket in the back too so so everybody's saying hi, Sharon. <laughs> so uh, everybody's talking about Alice. Okay, you were talking about the junk journal, now the Alice. Okay, okay. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you all what I had been doing and give you a, a sneak peek of that. So, and I'm going to put this back in there. And this is this is cute. I've got all this already printed out on tissue paper <clears throat> right here. So um, this was the this was my original inspiration. I had this stamp pad, and all of these um, stamps they can be cut out. And glued onto blocks if you want to put them on blocks and uh, I didn't I just I just uh, I left them all together and I stamped out the whole page and I can cut all of these out and make a page and I could also print it out on white paper this is deli paper or I can print it out on colored paper and make a page. So you've got a lot of options on how you want to handle these stamps. But they're all they're all Alice in Wonderland related. And I uh, I got this at a in a yard sale and I thought, oh, I'll make an Alice in Wonderland book. And thus that's how the bull, the the idea became. That's how that's how I uh, it was this piece that inspired me to do this book. So that's good. That's good. So that's all I'm going to do with that one tonight. And what's the next book? The Power Woman book. Okay. Now the Power Woman book is uh, part two. This is this is book number two on the Power Women. And, um, and I've talked about this a lot. Um, and if you and it, you know you don't have to do a power woman, it could be power people. But um, we're, most of us, you know, ninety eight percent of us in here were women, and we we want to support each other, and we want to uh, encourage it, us to be strong in in our art and in our lives. And this is this this is what this book is all about. The original book that I have, it's over here. Uh, it's just a book that I found at the library, 
and it was a discarded book. And this one just so happened to be flowers. Every page has flowers on it. So all I need to do is find a woman that looks good <laughs> on each page, you know, and match them up. Like this one probably doesn't look too shabby on there. And uh, and I can even do tags, you know. Uh, uh, so if I could, if I want to put her on that page, that would be good. And I've got a few others over here with women already in it. So. Uh, so if you want to do a Power Woman book, and all of these women um, came out of style magazines and clothing catalogs. So, you know, you can always find women. And then I had some women over here that were gifted to me in Happy Mail. And these were like 70s, 60s and 70s women. And they came out of a... Uh, a, 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 cat, a clothing catalog or a magazine of some sort and you can you could add tip-ins and flip outs and 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 things like this in your book and keep gluing keep gluing uh on them it meant to make it fun you know just to make it fun and this is a this was some junk mail that i had received in the mail and uh actually i think it was happy mail and um and I used it in here. And uh, so you can do anything you want to your Power Woman book. And then eventually, after I get some of the women in here, I will be putting words beside my women. Um, and there will be encouraging words, you know. And uh, so, and then, there, like, this was a picture in the book. So I will, I will be covering, you know, him up. He won't be there all the time. There will be there will be someone over over him, and she kind of looks good on that page, doesn't she? And this girl, I don't know where we're gonna put her, but she's going somewhere. She's gonna go somewhere for sure. So she might just go over here, and I'll start covering up these words. So that that'll be cute. And I'm going to just tack her down right now. Uh, and then when I get some other pictures, I might put something behind her, an arm or something. And so I just put a little bit of glue on that to hold her down. So this is going to be my Power Woman book. And you'll be surprised how many Power Women you're going to be able to put in this book. And it'll last you for a year. I mean, you'll be, you'll be, it'll take you all year to do it. And so she looks good right there. I'm just going to put her there. Tack her down just a little bit. And then that way when I get another picture, you know, I can put her, put, they can be hooking arms or something together. So, <laughs> so that'll be good. That'll be good. So this is my Power Woman book. And, and it's a glue book. And it's something casual. Uh, it, it fun it's not going to be hard it's just something fun and casual to do and uh it's an ongoing book that i have on my desk like the abc book and the junk journal it's just an ongoing glue book so teresa's going to go bye teresa honey uh okay sweetie good night teresa and you want to keep Teresa in our prayer. She's going to have a hand surgery tomorrow, and uh, and then and then there will be another date, and she's going to do the other hand. So you can see how I've got some ladies in here and some ladies over here, and I got room to add one more here, and I can maybe have maybe I have one. Nope, I've already got them all out. They're over here. So, um, you know, I can put somebody else here. That would look good. And then there's a way to fix her leg so that her shoes are on the on the uh, page. And um, what I do is um, 
not to be cruel, but I cut her legs off. <laughs> I can either make her skirt shorter or I can cut her legs off and put her legs back on. And and when I put her legs back on, there'll be she'll be a little bit shorter to fit the page. So I'm going to put her on the page. And then um, I take her little legs and I put them underneath her dress and I glue them back down. <laughs> so she fits the page and it's a cool little, it's a cool little trick. And it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all like that isn't it cute so that's how you that's how you use the that's how you glue things in <laughs> you you merge them together a little bit so so that's that so I'm gonna let this over here to dry And then the next book I have uh, wanted to tell you is uh, we did a Blizzard book last week. We made a Blizzard book. And I wanted to show it to you. <laughs> if I knew where it was, I would show it to you. I would. And I have no idea where my Blizzard book went. So I'll have to I'll have to look some more for it. So anyway, this uh, this is kind of um, kind of dry enough for me to flip it over. <laughs> Making her ticklish. You're right, I tickled her feet. <laughs> uh, There's a nice little spot right there that's not dry yet. Um, and this this is going to be varnished, so it's going to have a little bit of a uh vinyl texture uh when it gets completely dry and i will let this dry overnight and into tomorrow before i mail it out so i can flip this over now without it sticking down here and i can i can continue to glue the other side of my bag now so we're ready to do it uh then what else was I going to show you? The Blizzard book, if I can find it. And we did, we've been working on an Australia book. And uh, I can get it out and show you what, I, what we've done in it so far. And I haven't, uh, I haven't been working on it because I've been working on the Alice book. <laughs> I have. But the Blizzard book is a little tiny book that you make and you can stick it in your purse like a like a traveling journal or something. And um, and the paper comes out of it so that you can use the paper, make something from the paper and put the paper back in the book to you to, you know, to take it back home. And it might be uh, uh, something that you you know you can make when you're not at home, and then and then you can take it home and use it in your art, uh, whatever you want to make. But um, but that's all that a Blizzard book is, and it, and you can also make it to store things in. And I've got one that I have that Violet made me and it's got postcards in it and so I use it for postcards and it's cute and it's made out of a piece of map 
So you can use scrapbooking paper or you can use plain paper. You can use any kind of paper you want to make your uh, lizard book. So I'm going to put that right there. I am. Now I'm going to get my other extra pieces of napkins. And I'm going to be putting them on this side. I think I have to cut them apart a little bit. So we've been playing a lot tonight. <laughs> It's coming along. And if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and just lay this all down. It would not be totally wrong if I did that. It would not. So let's try that. And again, this glue is is decoupage glue with with a gloss varnish in it mixed up. And it's uh it seems to be a nice decoupage glue that leaves everything really cool on the top. So this side turned out to be quickie. It was a quickie. And I still think I can use some of this. like that and this blue is white and it will dry clear so if you see white don't worry about that it'll it'll dry clear it'll dry clear okay I'm thinking putting this one up there. Just for fun. And then this needs to go back. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. Oh, you're welcome, Barbara. I'm glad. It's just a little, little something, something. And I think it just, you know, we made it together. I think that ha ha is helpful. And I'm just going to put this little butterfly back on top. <laughs> so you got the butterfly and the bird. So this side needs to dry now. Let's see where this goes. I think I'm going to just trim it off. Just a little bit. And 
And this is going to um, wrap around this end of the bag. And if this bag tears up, <laughs> just, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. I don't know how sturdy they are. Don't know how long they will last. So just put some pens and pencils in it and it should be fine. It should be fine. So I think that's it. So um, that is it. So I'm just going to take this and I've got a little knot, a little, uh, a little, we'll hang it up. <laughs> I've got a knob on my cabinets up here and it's going to hang up and dry. going to hang up and dry and uh, we'll leave it there all night and it'll be ready tomorrow where I can uh, get it in the mail to you tomorrow sometime so hi Allie Kay hi Sue hi sis um okay Everybody all right. Okay, now it's 8 o'clock. And you know what? I'm thinking about just painting something. Would y'all like for me to paint tonight? I can do anything you want me to do. I could play a game or I could... Uh, I haven't painted for a while. And I really think that... Uh, we, did, we did this the other day... Uh, with Cheryl's, uh, we used Cheryl's uh, cards, post uh, prompt cards, and this turned out really, really cute. <laughs> but I'm ready to paint something. We haven't painted for a while. Oh, Mina's using her little bag for fussy cuts. That's a good place to keep them. You can see in and get what you want. Good idea. So, anyway. Um, what I can do, put my napkins away, this will go in my, uh, I've got a, a napkin box to put it in. I also have a napkin book, another glue book. Look at here. I can put that in here. Um, that's a good idea. This is a, um, my napkin book that I just started to make. Um, uh, I got the idea from Lisa, <laughs> Lisa Conway. And, and, um, it's paint and stamps and, and anything I want to put in it. Um, uh, but I've got a lot of napkins in here. Let's see if I can get this one apart. This is just some scrap paper. And this one has a napkin on it. And you see how it's stuck? That's where I get my little pounce bag out. And uh, add a little bit of powder to it. Um, I, I tweaked. I was tweaking my, my glue. And I, I put these two papers together before they were dry. So that's what happened here. That's what happened. And that's stuck together because they were wet. And this napkin didn't tear. Because this glue had that varnish in it and the decoupage glue in it and it made it um, waterproof or something. So this, this, uh, I'm just going to pounce this page. I don't know if this sticks uh, because it was wet or sticks because of the type of mixture I have. So 
Now this this was put down with this same glue and it's not sticking. So I think I put this together while it wasn't dry enough. It wasn't dried all the way. So I think that's what happened. That's what I'm hoping. See, this is not sticking. And this one's not sticking. So anyway, this is a little book that I have designated for um, a, a napkin book. And eventually, I'm going to be making pages like this. And I will be inserting pictures and and anything I want on top. I can even paint in this book. And um, so this just has to dry right there. And um, but this is going to be my napkin book and uh, I can do anything I want in it. And uh, there's another zebra page. <laughs> I might just have to paint a zebra on this page and paint the head. And this is the body. Yeah, there you go. But anyway, what I was going to do is add these leftover napkins that I have over here from today in my book and glue them in my book. So, so it could be, it could take, um, uh, there's a bird. Did I have a bird left over? Nope, no birds, just butterflies. Uh, you can add leftover paint. Anything you want. And what I did with this book is I tore out uh, a lot of the pages so that it had a lot of room to grow, uh, to get fat again. So I took out a lot of the pages in here from the centers of the signatures. And I can still do some more. Um, I just have to find the center of the signature, which you can find by looking for the thread. And you can look at look for the threads in the middle of the signatures. And like this one here is a center. And if I don't have anything on this side, which I do, so I'll go to the next signature. There's more than one signature. And let's see where this one is. Looking for the centers. That yeah, that was your mom. Um, so here's the center, and I don't have anything on either side. So I can take this one out uh, to make the book not so thick and fluffy. And I'm going to take this one out as well. And one more if I can. And uh, this helps the book from being too thick. And then right here, I have some leftover paper that tore off, you know, of the paper that tore off. So all I have to do here is maybe get a pair of tweezers or something pointy. And I can pull off this extra paper here without uh, hurting the book. And the thread is, it, this is bounded with thread. And I don't want to tear the thread up. I just want to remove the paper like that. So that was easy. That was easy. There. It works off real easy. It's real easy. And the thread is still there. It looks like uh, the same color as the page. So you you may not be able to see it, but I can. I can see it. So that helps get the bulk out of the middle of the book. Like that. So that's garbage and then here you can see the thread in this book this is an old book so i'm recycling repurposing this old book and um and i still may want to try to find some more center pages to uh 
take out because the book is is obviously getting thicker and thicker so i'm there's lots of little um signatures in this book and so this is the next one here and this one goes to the other one so you just kind of look for this middle of the sig signatures So we're going back this direction and here's the middle of this one and I can tear this page out and I can see I've got uh, some some papers under the thread and I can just work it off it uh, the paper is very uh, dry and um, it's very it's not brittle but it's extremely easy to tear so i'm doing that and i'm making a few more centimeters of room in my book by tearing out some of the paper and I'm not uh, tearing the thread. I'm only tearing the paper. So I can do it again without any problem. And again. And again. And I'm, I'm just making room so that my book has room to grow in, its, in the fluffy department. If that makes sense or not, but I hope it does. And that's the last one. I can tear from this side because there's paint on that one. Okay. Let's see if I can't tear out some of this extra little stuff there we go there we go so anyway that's that's what is helping uh my book from getting too over fluffy so and it makes it it keeps it nice and i like it that way so very nice so anyway i'll pick a page and uh, we can put this put some of this napkin in here and it's exactly the right height so i'm just going to take my glue and we'll glue this napkin down. Put that back over. Wrinkles don't mind, don't matter. Wrinkles are fine. That's extra texture. And this uh, paper, like I said, it's real dry and thick, and it's a thirsty paper. So my glue <laughs> absorbs in this paper real fast. It's like it's drinking it up real fast. I'm just going to go ahead and pounce this down into the gutter of the book, the ditch. And then I'll keep on patting it down to the other side. Very nice. And I can either cut this this extra off I could wrap it around to the next page or I can take a wet brush a wet 
a clean wet brush and I can just go down the edge of the paper with a, a wet paintbrush with just plain water go down the edge like that I don't know if it got it all or not I'm trying try another brush like that and then this will tear off from the water it'll tear away and you can use the edge of the paper as a little guide and then it's got a little bit of fluffy here and that's fine that adds extra character to your book <laughs> hi darla <laughs> She's doing some tangling, zentangling. Okay, Darla, post us a picture. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's what I did with my leftover napkins. Uh, so that's good. <laughs> so I'm going to let this over and let it dry. And now it's just 8 of 15. I thought maybe I would maybe paint something. So let me find my phone. And I'm going to go to my um, my pictures. I thought about maybe painting in my Alice in Wonderland book. We could do that. And I could paint. I could paint like this picture. Wouldn't that be cute? Shall we get the Alice book back out? That's what I wanted to do wanted to paint in the Alice book because I've got some pages yet that I haven't I don't have anything on yet and it I've never painted in in these books before so in these you know so let's try it it'll be fun so I'll put this in the back and I'm going to look for the first one it's a tea party now I don't really want to paint on this. I could paint over this. These these won't be, these are little obstacles. Or I can paint on this side. This is going to be a tea party. So let me look at. I think she would be cute to, to paint with the pink flamingo. That's really what I want to do. And there she is already sketched out. I could paint the rabbit. Or I could paint her. <laughs> and I could put a frame around her. Or I could put some I can put some napkins around her. Some real napkins. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, let me find a white page. <laughs> It'll be in the back. It'll be in the back. So, I want to paint her with some fly, and I'll put some napkins around her to frame her. Shoot, that one's got something on it. Let's go to another page. <laughs> These are all extra things in the back. So, where's my napkin? I could paint him on this side and her on this side or vice versa. <laughs> Are you, anybody uh, have any loving suggestions for me? Hi, Sandra Louise. <laughs> oh, on that napkin book yep I did remove I moved I removed quite a bit and these pages are yellowed already yellowed and the edges are kind of dark so these are great for in your art book uh, for torn paper stuff and I could even do that on this I could put these torn pages on here and then paint on top of them I've never done that let's do it <laughs> I am I am going wild tonight. I am. I'm going to do it. I think it'll be fun. <laughs> Janice, Janice says, you do fine on your own. Do it. <laughs> I 
<clears throat> um, I'm making it my own. <laughs> making it your own? Mm -hmm. What are you making? Well, we're going to glue these papers down right here. Oh, my. So I'm going to tear them up. Oh, my. Did you call your mom back? Yes, she's at the phone. She's at the cricket place. Oh, well, good. Did you tell them to tell to delete her old messages? I talked to the girl, and she's got problems with the phone. is is in the the, the plug in, so. Oh, she's yeah. already got it taken care and of. She's gonna call me tonight, and she's going back tomorrow. And get, she's gonna try to set her up with something. She's got a, a telephone, a cricket, and and it's always whenever she can't get to the phone and you want to leave a message her bot her mailbox is always full so they they talk to the the cricket people <laughs> at the service uh, store and she's getting it fixed her, her phone's a cricket and it, it you got to jump start it to get it to go yeah it's just not cricketing very nicely it's not hopping yep it's not cricketing hey it's kathy d and sandra Janice, Barb's back, Nina. We've been goofing off tonight, yeah, Joe. Yeah, yeah. We've been having fun, haven't we? It's Allie Kay. Here's my, hey, hey, Cammy. here's my pencil bag. Oh, wow. You got, yeah, that's what you've been working on? Yeah. That's great. Wow, that's nice. Golly, that, uh, that's a real nice one. Mm-hmm. Look at that. She's going to love it. Barbara Chicken Pot Pie is getting it. Barbara Chicken Pot Pie. Mm -hmm. Well, I got the hamburgers going. Oh, are they on the grill? Yep. Good. And two big potatoes. Yeah? Going to have a loaded baked potato tonight? I don't know. What do you want me to load it with? Cheese and bacon. Mm. I think you can do and it we too. Got, we got the that macaroni and cheese left over. There's just a little bit. You can make some more. Hi, Janice. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's yeah. enough. There, there's four more, three more boxes. Oh no, I'm not making new. For, no. Why? Because well, we I, I liked it. It wasn't well, we bad. The potato and the macaroni and cheese. Well, I know, but I can eat the macaroni and cheese tomorrow. Oh, okay. If that's what you want. Yeah. That's what you want, dear. Anything I want. That's yeah. Just for when's your birthday now? I know. I've already done got my birthday present. I haven't told him. Yeah. I haven't told him the news. <laughs> well, <clears throat> yeah, I can tell him. I think they. I don't think they would mind. Uh, oh man. I have. I have known Joe for 20, almost 23 years, and um, I've always had used cars, and uh, my cars are, um, you know, I've, I've, I've just, you know, so now it's time for, it's my turn to have a new car, you know, it's kind of like the phones, <laughs> so so I got me a car yesterday, but I don't have it. So it's going to be, um, let's see if I can find a picture of it. It's, it's a Highlander. It's a Toyota Highlander is what it is. And let's see if I can find a picture of it. Hi, Nanny. And if I get a picture of it, I've got to have the right color, right? <laughs> It's something like this. No. Yeah, that's real close to that. I think. Let me see what it says. The one down the yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. It's a Toyota Highlander. And it's not it's it's a twenty one. It's a it's a twenty one, but there's my car. And and uh I I um I splurged, but I also had a gift from my mom. You know, uh, my mama passed away and everything, and she she left me a little package. She left all of us a little package. So so I'm using my package uh, on my car, and uh, to help to help buy it. 
So I thought that that was pretty cool, you know. So we can go, thanks, Mom. Everybody can say, thank you, Mom. And, uh, and we'll, I got a car. We'll, so I'm going to get it in a week or two. So I won't, I won't it's, it's not here yet. Um, they had one at the, at the, at the car dealership, but it wasn't the right caller. So, so uh, he had to, he ordered it, but it's not at their store yet. It's, it's made. It's just that they got to get it from another store and they, they wouldn't tell us which store it came from. It probably come from some place close yes. like Jacksonville or <laughs> Orlando, but, but they get, credit for the sale you know so they so i bought it in daytona and um and that's that's what we were that's what we did yesterday so it's she doesn't drive very much anyway so it don't matter yeah so uh i haven't since you know especially since the covid and everything so i might maybe i'll start Driving maybe now, maybe I'll just yeah. start driving. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just start driving. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I'm taking these uh, text pages from my napkin journal, and I'm putting them in here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to paint on top of it. Oh, no wonder they're not so straight. Right, they're going to be every which way. Uh -huh. So I'm playing. So anyway, you guys are the first to know, <laughs> besides family. <laughs> besides my family. My family knows it. I haven't told my sister yet, but I'll... I'll or I'll, your brothers. I'll take a picture of uh, me sitting in it and oh, uh, send it to Kay. She, she's, she, she's had two new cars since I've been down here. <laughs> she has she gets new cars all the time. <laughs> so that's okay. Yeah. Right now is not the time to buy a new car. It's not. It now's not the time to buy a new car. It's a terrible economy move. Uh because uh everybody was getting stimulus checks and uh now that everybody's going back to work, you know, they're saying that um you know, car prices are going high, and uh, and they and the and they're and they are that they were very high. The prices were very high, but uh, I splurged. Well, a lot of people it was like a bear. They hibernated and they saved. Yeah. Hopefully, and then now you know, now that the now the out, COVID out. is almost over. Well, I don't think it'll ever be over, but now that we're kind of going on back up into life and we're relaxing we're getting out again and getting back people are getting back to work so i think uh you know the economy things are starting to buy people are starting to travel more people are traveling more we our daughters came down uh last week and we had a great time with them uh all week we really have mm -hmm. joe's Joe's been Joe's been on vacation, haven't you, honey? Yeah. So. Uh, so anyway, I'll have to let you know when it gets here. <laughs> what? Oh, post. I'll post a picture. Janice said postal's going up in in August. Oh, is the postage going up too? Did you tell them what they said to you? <laughs> no, <laughs> they. I've been having a few uh, pieces returned, uh, and it's been two of the bags, the pencil bags that I have. Um, but now I won't. I'll have to take uh, Barbara's to the to the post office because hers is going to Canada. So I'll uh, package it up and take it into the post office personally. But they they don't want me to put it's like they don't want me to use my own stamps and it's and they want me to come in and run it off the machine and run it off of their machine and then they they charge you extra every time you do that 
so it costs more not really they, they yeah it does it costs more when i take it into the post office i don't know yeah it does because i've done it too many times anyway um because i usually weigh my own postage and i do my postage here well they sent sent me two bags two of my bags back and and they specifically said they that I have to take them in to the post office. So I'm not real sure, you know. Uh, I'll find out tomorrow. And then, and it's like, I wondered if it was one post office box that was doing, like one post office uh, building was doing it, or if it was all of them. And so I'll find out pretty soon if it's all of the post offices or just one of the post office doing it. Yeah, girls, I'll call, I'll, you'll be the first to know if she's got her picture at the post office on the wall. <laughs> As a criminal? <laughs> you think I'm a criminal? No. I don't think I'm a criminal. I'm just saying. I think they just, I think they had a staff meeting and yeah. something's going on, something's going down, and they, uh, you know, I think it was something like that. So anyway, I'm gluing this paper down, and then I'm going to paint on top of it. It's going to be fun. I hope. I hope it's going to be fun. But... Um, so, yeah, they want more money. That's exactly what it is. Uh, they, they charge, whenever I mail something from my house, it's like three times cheaper than when I take it in. And uh, they their scales, uh, I swear I think they're, they're they're loaded <laughs> i think they put stuff on their scales i don't think they're zero whenever i i put anything on it that i i'm mailing and then it said something about anything over 13 ounces well i my my envelopes are not 13 ounces they're only 3.5 ounces so uh i'm packaging them differently now and I'm I'm not. It's going to be a a, a big. A, a, it's going to be smaller the way I'm packaging them. I'm I'm packing it, packing the bags in, and I'm folding down the edges so that it's the exact size that I'm mailing, and not a bigger bag that it's in. And I don't know if it's the size that they're complaining about. I I just I don't know. And it, then it also said something about for security reasons. And I thought, well, you know, what's what are they worried about security? So uh, I'm not quite sure what that was all about, the security part. So we'll see. It's just they're just doing a funky thing. And uh, and if I have to, I'll just go back to envelopes, you know, and and nothing everything's an envelope before when it goes out here you know and i can do that i can do envelopes i can do envelopes but you know it's like they don't want to take the time to do hand mail you know, they want everything to be, everything to go through the machines. They don't want to do anything by hand. And I really think that that's a big part of it. You know, they're just lazy. And she, they should be thankful because if it weren't for all of our happy mail, they probably wouldn't even have a job because everything is gone. Uh, everything's done over the electronically, including bills, you know, they're going straight out of every 
the bills are going straight out of accounts. Uh, you know, nobody's mailing their bills anymore. So I think they're just, I think they're getting, they're getting ready to, to take their nose off despite their face. Okay, so I got that painted. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let this dry for just a minute. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> uh, my my sister in law says, "Are you driving up here?" <laughs> I'm going to not anytime soon. <laughs> I don't plan on driving. I'm not going on vacation. If that's what you mean. So I'm going to dry this with the heat gun. Oh, Barbara, don't you fret, honey. Um, Barbara, you, you don't have to worry about a thing. I got you covered, Barbara. Um, I have been blessed. Uh, when I did the ATC swap, some of y'all sent me stamps and things like that. And I really appreciate that. And I do, you know, so that helps with my postage. But I've got enough postage uh, in my address book now, probably for the rest of the year. Uh, <laughs> Joe bought me a bunch of stamps and I bought a bunch of stamps and I bought them, I bought like six or seven sheets of stamps online. And, uh, so I'm stocked up on post postage stamps. Uh, so everything is good in that department. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint, I'm going to paint her first. And I guess I have to sketch her. Am I going to have to sketch her first? Let's see. I've got a paint pen. And she'll be cute sketched on here. Because it's black and white on the napkin. And then I'm going to go and get some napkins and do flowers on the edges. And... Because she's got a, a pink flamingo. And were they were they pink flamingos in the book? Does anybody know anything about Alice in Wonderland? What kind of birds did she play croquet with? <laughs> Let's see what they says. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How do you spell croquet? K C R O C A Okay. Alice is yard game. Alice in Wonderland, the rabbit, the rabbit hole, croquet, it was a croquet, and it was an Alice in Wonderland croquet set. Let's take the set out. Croquet with what bird? Because she talks to another bird in the in the um, in the book. She's talking to another bird, um, and it looks like some kind of a dodo bird or something. And but when she's playing croquet, croquet, 
It's different. It's a pink flamingo. Because here's a fun costume flamingo mallet <laughs> accessory for $19. <laughs> so it is a pink flamingo. So that's what I'm going to paint. I'm going to color it pink. Not I. Let's see. Pink flamingos. They were pink. That's right. <laughs> So anyway, here I go. I'm going to try. Should I put a little bit of gesso down first? A little whiteness. Just a little. I'm getting all my art supplies out tonight. Might as well do the other side too. Because if I have time, I'll do the bunny. And if I don't have time, I'll do it Thursday. Because you can still see the text. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Dry this. Janet said, Janice said that uh, if not, if not you, Barb, it's the Postal Service, the mi minority party and money grabbers want to, to prioritize, privatize our Postal Service. And that would be more money. That means mail would cost more. But I'm not I'm not worried about it, Barbara. We're not gonna worry about that old mail service. We just we're just gonna put that round stamp on there and get it up there to Canada. Best we can. We'll get her up there. I've mailed stuff I mail actually my stuff that goes out of country does better than in the in the United States. <laughs> okay, I think that'll work. Now I'm hoping 
that this pen is a paint pen. So I'm, I'm going to see if it'll do what I want it to do. So anyway, here is Alice. Let me see if I can do a good job on her. There's her eye. Oh, that's all right. Define her nose. Just don't, don't make her a bozo nose by any means. But there's her hair. I kind of, I, I talk my way through when I draw. So, uh, uh, just to let you all know. And here's her sleeve to her little dress. And then her arm. Like that. And like that. And then her hands. Her thumb. And then she's going to have a little dress. And her dress is blue with a white little pinafore. And I'll give her some, a little bit of a ruffle dress. With uh, some little ray. And then her pinafore. Goes up like that. Okay, I like that. <laughs> and then she's got another little ruffle over here for her sleeve. And her other arm. And then she's got the bird. And then she's got hair. Her hair. And then her, her face. a bozo nose <laughs> I've got a white out pen I'll see what I can do and then this is her hair that's all right make her I'll give her thick hair she's got some nice hair and then she's got little legs her little legs they're shapely. And then her little slippers. I'm going, she's got one little foot and it looks like it's on a ball. But I'm going to just put her feet on the ground. And give her little Mary Janes or something. Something like that. Just a little sketch. And then um, what I might do is before, before, Uh, to her other arm. Let's just check out the pin, the flamingos. I got some flamingos over here. Let's see, I got this one and I got another one. And while I'm here. Gotta have some flowers on the outskirts. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
But I need another one. I need two that are kind of alike. I've got a couple of these. But this is more what I want. But, but, <laughs> I can do a combo. This would be cute because it's um, it's sketched. And then I got a couple, couple of those in between. That might look good. And then maybe I can do a little watercolor on it for a little extra color. Mm-hmm. That sounds like a good idea. Here's another bird. It, but this is more like a herring. Or an ibises. That's got a crown on it. It's black and white. Well, we'll think of something. We'll get it. We'll get there. We got plenty, plenty of time here. We're not. Oh, here's the other one. Here's the other bird. But I like this size better. Let's do, uh, let's try this. I'm going to try those. My, my light came unplugged. We'll go. I'm going to get my uh, a little paint brush, a uh, wet water brush, and I'm going to go like this. Again, see, and that, and this pink flamingo. Ninety-nine degrees in candy says high in humidity. You got your air on. My air is on too. The pool's ninety degrees. Our pool is. So now I just have to pick out which now <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is in the in the in the napkin she's holding the bird so she's gonna hold this bird but the neck is turned the other way so I'll swipe the neck off of this one to put on this one so the neck so that the bird is watching, looking at, turning and looking at her. 
Does that make sense? That's what I'm going to do. So this is going to be there. There. And then I can draw the legs. I have to draw the legs because I don't see any legs here. They're behind the bushes. And then on this one, I probably should have just cut it out instead of watered it out. I can still do that. I can still do it. So this will be the neck on this body. And I'm going to go ahead and do a second one. And double layer it. Um, and I'll cut this one out. Let's see here. With my scissors. Thinking it out. Thinking it out. Then this one over here, it's going to be like under her hand. So it's going to be like that. Am I getting there? <laughs> Am I getting to it? Uh, bird surgery. Yeah, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Frankenstein flamingos. <laughs> Just, I do like this one. And I can even paint. Yeah, I could do that. And then this here, when this goes under this hand, I've got a cut right there so that I can set, get her hand in there. So this will be right here and her hand is going to be on top. So I'm going to glue that down like that and like, oh, that's good. Okay. I like that. Okay. Give me a little tiny glue brush so I can just sort of glue this down and then glue this down. Just tacking it. And then I can go over it a little bit with some pink pencil or something. And and I can see her hand through the napkin. Believe it or not. She's under her under the feathers. She's got her hand holding the bird under her fe under the feathers. <laughs> okay. Now I do have another one of these, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I 
I think I like that. Okay, we're going to hang on. Yeah, I like this. I like this. This is matching the, uh, the theme of the collars. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down. Get my fan brush back. Wash out all the gesso. Okay, looking good. Working in the Alice book. Doing something new. Going to go play croquet. <laughs> it's looking great. I love it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> This is, this is going on, on the border somewhere. I'm still working on the border. And um, I don't like doing it with a, uh, a paintbrush. I really do. And um, I could take this to the edge, off the edge a little bit. Doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be such a pig. <laughs> a pig. The napkins are too big. And I could piece some pieces of the napkin in there I can I can do this this is neat so like this center here all I have to do is put this little piece of napkin there and put this one on top and it looks like it's part of their napkin, the original napkin. See? Okay. Good. Napkin piecing 101. You just sort of mix it up a little bit. It works. See, you don't even know that that's, that's not part of that napkin. Mm -hmm. All righty. I like that. Now, let's see. I need to find my... Um, my jelly roll pen. And several, two, two or three girls of you all have given me jelly, jelly roll pins. And you had covered that up. I had a, a, a bozo nose and now it's perfect. Perfect little nose. Now, let's see. I do want, I do have another Sharpie over here. If I can find find it I 
this one here. And let's see, where's the napkin? I just wanted to give her her neckline. And maybe some ruffles and some buttons down her shirt and then this would be her her waist and this is the background we'll shade that in a little bit yeah that's all right give her a little fluffiness there and okay Okay, just a little something there, and um, I've got these, maybe I should make, since I did her in the black one, maybe, I think I have some other uh, ink, ink pens, ink uh, uh, paint markers. And I might have put them in my thing over here, my caddy. I don't see them at all. There they are. I've got blue. I, I thought maybe the legs. I can do the legs. I can maybe use um, a brown, a Sharpie for the legs instead of black because she's she's done in black and I thought maybe uh, brown would look a little bit better. Um... Let me see if I can just use a, either a Sharpie for the legs, for his dangling legs. And I have no idea what the legs are going to look like. Let's see. Do they have any? They look like uh, duck feet. And I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to go out this way with the duck's legs, duck legs, the pink flamingo's legs, and then they've got knobby knees, and then they have another part that goes down with a web type foot. Something like that. And uh, I've just made her, made the Made them brown and something like that. Looks all right. That looks okay for the uh, flamingo's feet and. I can give her black patent uh, Mary Jane's and do embossing on her shoes. Would you all like to have her shoes embossed? Uh, blue. Do you think I should put some blue in there on her dress? And 
I like to I like to give her a smile. <laughs> this made her look like a goofy person. And then maybe a, some cheeks. Give her a little bit of makeup. Okay. And the uh, flamingo, I can... Repair that little neck. I think it looks fine. I like it. Adding a little more pink to the napkin. Like that. What do y'all say? Needs some color for her dress. Okay, I can do it in, uh, how about if I try, I'm going to try my ink tents. I'm going to try ink tents because it's like watercolor. And I'll get a couple of shades of, I got my water brush, a different couple of shades of blues, the lightest blues I have. Try those, and uh, and I was thinking about maybe doing some kind of um, design. girl design or something I don't know what kind of design it is and then with another blue one I can put little dots And then I'm just going to take uh, the water brush. And just do a little uh, fade, fading, shading with a hint of the light blue. On the rest of her dress and leave the white pinafore or the little apron and I'm going to get the walk the white uh, the water brush get the water brush of working and all I have to do is lightly go over some of the blues and then it'll activate and then they will it will dry as a permanent paint after it dries just a little yeah it's kind of dark on the edges and and light in the middle okay okay She's coming alive. And her hair. Her hair. Let's do her hair. Make her sunshine yellow. Just activated that part. <laughs> In the water. Just a little. Just like in the storybooks. How they, they have a, a sketchy... Uh, a picture and then there's just a hint of color on the sketch in the back in the days yeah yeah that's what we're doing oh I think it looks good <laughs> 
And and then her shoes. Shall we do her shoes? I think her shoes ought to be done in, in black patent. So let me put these pencils away. We got time. We got time. We can do it. I got some pencils in here that don't belong. And that's why my brush won't fit. <laughs> okay. So that's good. I'm going to dry it. I'm going to... Um, let me work on this other side over here. this napkin up like that and we'll put this right here Okay, and we'll get a little glue, a little glue each, and we'll put that down here. Like that. Okay, I like that. I need a little bit of something there. What's left over here will work. I need a little little vine right there. Yeah, that helped. Okay. Now, I can, I need to do the rest of this outline, but I'm not going to worry about, I got some, a few more pieces here. I don't have very much. So I'm going to have to use um, this black and white one. Or, Ooh, I never thought about maybe trying to do it myself. I'm going to dry this with the heat gun. Let's see, she has that pause. <laughs> Are you going to call her dress? Yes, red crochet balls. Okay, red crochet balls. I mean, um, croquet balls. Okay. And she needs some color for her dress. Yes. Arms, too. She's got her arm. I got one arm. Uh, Tammy started an ABC look. Yay, Tammy. Did you see? <coughs> I did have mine out a few minutes ago. Just to to demo it again. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Stickers, die cuts, magazine. You can sketch. <coughs> you can write words. Get the dictionary out. Cut dictionary words out. Oh, yeah. Any of that. 
<laughs> Sherry still asleep, so she's back up. Well, look what we did, Sherry. <laughs> we we got Alice holding a pink flamingo. So let me go ahead and um, I want to do her shoes. Let's see if I can do them. So, what are these? Oh, it's not black. Okay. Okay. We need to play with these. These are called magicals. Hmm. <coughs> um. Uh, okay, we're doing all right. We're moving along. I do need to do this, but it's going to be in this uh, napkin. So I'm going to get my wet brush <laughs> and and do that. And then that's going to attach <coughs> there. So I'll do this. And tear that away. Glue this down. It's a little different, but I can add a little of color. I can probably put some of that color in. And then. Let's try that. Right there. I don't think it'll look bad. I think it'll be all right. Just improvising. One more flower. Which one? I'll just take that one. There. How about that? Now you said a red crochet, uh, crochet ball. Sorry, croquet ball. I don't have any red <clears throat> embossing powder, but I do have black. And I'm trying to shake this pen up. This is an ink, a pen, a painter's pen. I thought it had a ball in it. Maybe I'm mistaken. I think I'll put those stripes on with black. And um, there can be a red one and a blue one and a green one. How many is playing? They're all different colors. See, they do have a ball in them. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Just need to dry that. And do her shoes. Cheryl's in the green chair. <laughs> nail polish. Ooh, candy. Black nail polish. I think I have some black. And the reason would, that would be good <laughs> is because my... Uh, <clears throat> Embossing stuff is up on the top shelf. Mm -hmm. For her shoes. Whew. Yep, it smells. <laughs> Okay, I got her shoes. She's got black pants. Uh-oh, dog alert. <laughs> dog alert. So she's got her shoes. There's those shoes. I probably ought to put on um, white, little white bobby socks. I could maybe, the white didn't show up because her legs are already white. Uh, I can maybe put a little bit of lace on it. I don't know how s it's awful small. But I could give her some white sh socks. Mm-hmm. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Oh, did you bring me something good? Mm -hmm. it's um, hot on the bottom. Oh, well, I'm going to eat this. I know it. I'm going to show it off. Finally. This is going to be my dinner. It's a loaded baked potato. Yeah, me, Joe. A plus. Oh, is there butter on it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another, is there plenty of butter? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> I gotta go eat. Okay. <laughs> Cheryl's in the green chair. Uh, everybody said yummy. Okay. So I am going to let my uh, croquet balls dry and then I want to put a stripe on them. Um, they have these little oh, design. I don't know if that pen is going to work on it or not, but find something that does there's a kitty cat everybody's been fed they have these these lines on them
So I got that on there. That's good. Now, uh, I think I'm done. What else did I say I was going to do? Put some more um, trimmings there. Uh oh now listen here we'll have none of that no we're not gonna have any of that here we go nice and easy you have to be very careful because it will it's upside down is what it is it's trying to tell me something Now we're talking. It was just trying to tell me it was upside down. You're right. Thank you. Now that looks really good. I like that. And I just need one more little piece right there. And it could be this little this little leaf. Right there. That'll work. A little leaf right there. Now, let's see. We got this other side over here. Do we want to try and do him? <laughs> I got a half hour. I think I could do him with a half hour since I got all the hard part stuff done. And He's got he's got a little um, outfit on. And I do think I need to use a little more jelly roll over here to give her a little better of a a grin there. I'm trying to make her nose look smaller. <laughs> smaller. That's much better. Right? Like that. Okay. Now, let's see. Or I could just trim this out and put that, put this napkin on there. Let's try that. Go for it. Go for it. And it says, oh my Ears and whiskers. <laughs> I think he, he goes in here. Let's see if I can just trim him out a little bit. And I'm not going to get any of the collared part. Except for his feet. Oh, my whiskers and ears. I'm late. I'm late. For a very important date. See, that's what it's going to look like right there. I think it'd be okay. Since we, we, we really worked hard on her. I know. I know it's not. It's not just. You know, it's not Mary's, but it's ours. It's for us. -ins. I'm trying to uh, get the back off of this. And it's a coming off. 
There might be one more, but I'm going to leave it. Let's just try this. Give everything a good little overcoat while we're here. What if I did a little circle of collar, like blue or something? Now, this is a blue pencil. And it's not going to work. Okay. Then, what about a watercolor? I'm going to get some paint. We want light blue. Around the bunny. Around the bunny. I'm going to get a... Put this over here. I want to, my shoes are still wet. So I'm going to kind of dry this off. It's uh, glue. And now I'm going to try to put some something like that. This is um, children's paints from that I got from Michaels for like five dollars or something, and it's got a lot of colors. There's a shimmer set, and then there's an opaque set. And this is just going to go in his around the background of the uh, the rabbit. Because he's uh, he's black and black and white. And this is a shimmery collar. I do have some blue. We could try some blue too. This is kind of a real lavendery. This here looks like the napkin on the other page. A little collar. Let that dry. Put this away. Got enough art supplies out tonight. Good night, Barbara. You're welcome. Bye, honey. We'll see you tomorrow. This will be on, coming your way soon. I'm going to let it dry real good. It's real sticky. So we're going to dry so it'll cure. It's going to cure. We'll see you soon. I'll be back on Thursday night. So I'm just going to dry this. And then I'm going to apply some more glue. And then I'm going to put this guy. Oh, too shabby. He's framed. He's got a little frame. Okay. 
a little bit of book page peeking through. So, I think it's good. I think it's done. And I do have... have a little we can put the date on it <laughs> it's eight we can put the date on it it's all use black Got it. Okay. I've been watching from the balcony and it looks great. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Becca. Thanks. I think it looks pretty cool. And I do need to get this off. This just needs a wet, uh, clean uh, brush, a wet brush to, to, uh, Go along the edge of that paper right there with water and then I can just rip that off real easy like that so that's the edge of that one and there's the edge of this one and the rest of them I think are okay I like the little uh, soft, feathery look on the edges. It makes it look cute. So, uh, yeah, if I wanted to, I could blacken the edges, you know, with the, like you ink the edges. I can ink the edges if I wanted to, but I don't think it needs it. I think it's, uh, I think it looks good. I'm so glad we did this. This is just perfect. I can't wait for Janet to see it. She's in bed. <laughs> She'll see it on the replay. I'll post. I'll send a picture to her. <laughs> for me, I think it looks great. <laughs> I'm happy with it. I will enjoy this book forever and ever. That is cute. All right. It's going to take me hours to clean my room up tomorrow. But, oh well. <laughs> Good thing I have a day off to do it in. <laughs> so here is the, the rabbit. And here is the croquet. <sighs> I probably should put one of those round things on there. Um, the hoops that it goes through. <laughs> Just one. Just one is all it needs. <laughs> Guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with me tonight. And uh, I don't know how to take that off. There it goes. Um, I think that's all I'm going to do. So, I'm going to go eat my potato. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock. So, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and sign off. And I'll be back Thursday. And um, maybe we'll get into the Australia book a little bit on Thursday since I have neglected it. This has been really fun. I kind of got started on it and didn't want to stop. And you know how it goes. So, they were so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so um anyway um if you all if you all can think of anything uh if anybody's watching this on the replay and you want to send me a message in the comment section please tell me what you like the best and if you guys in the chat room uh 
think of something I need to do. And what was it I was told early? Oh, paper dolls. I'm going to put paper dolls. Maybe I'll think of something for Thursday. We should make an Alice. We should make an Alice paper doll. That's what we'll do. And we'll put it in the Alice book. So uh, we can do it. We can do it. So I'm going to put that on my list. A paper doll. Okay. I just need a uh, ink pen. Thursday. Thursday will be felting something. And it will be an ornament of something. Um, we can we can felt something. And then we're going to do an Alice paper doll. I'll get some cute uh, scrapbook paper out and we'll make her a little frilly dress. Maybe we could put some real lace on her. And I thought about putting a little piece right there and right there. If I find any, well, I can look right now. If I find any really tiny lace, like this is white. So I might be able to put a little bit of that on her shoes. One moment, please. Let me get in here. Let me get in here and get down to the bottom. Is this it? That's all I need. That one little piece. So, um, I love embellishing. And I know you can't really tell because her legs, I should, maybe I should call her her, her legs uh, a flesh tone. But I was going to take a little tiny piece of this. This side and put right there on her shoes. Okay, I'm I'm gluing it on. I'm gonna glue it on. Mm-hmm. It'll work. And then one more for this side. There's a right side and a wrong side. Just a dot. We're the only ones that's going to know that this is here. <laughs> We're the only ones. All right. Ta -da! <laughs> see if you can see that. See your little ankles? <laughs> okay that is it guys that's it so everybody do yeah Tam, Tom, tammy said everybody have a blessed night you guys have a wonderful day tomorrow and i will see you thursday if not in the chat room beforehand if you need anything message me and uh i'll i'll talk to you all soon say good night alice Put the lid on my glue. Good night, girls. Joe says good night. <laughs> I'm leaving. I just hit the uh, end screen. Uh -huh. That red button right there. Click. And click again. <laughs>